Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last video about adults reacting to Eurovision 2023, then you know that I will be ranking my top 10 from the top 10 of this year's Eurovision. Without further ado, let's get right into it. My top 10 is Estonia. I, I mean, I never expected her to get to top 10, if I'm completely honest. I put Lithuania above Estonia, but... People loved her. I mean, she had a great voice. There were parts of the song that hooked me, but overall, it just kind of went and it was not delivering the everything that I really wanted. I don't want to talk about, like, bad about the country or the singer, because she was powerful. She had some Demi Lovato qualities, if I'm honest. Yeah, I don't want to say anything bad, it just... It will be for me top 10. Number 9 is maybe for some surprise, but it's Norway. I... I kind I don't know, I just did not get attached to the song. I know she has a vibe, she's powerful, she has the vocals, like she has very unique vocals by the way. Beginning was so like like pulls you in, but then over time it just flatlines because not much changes throughout the song. And yeah, in I mean in general the songs there needs to be some kind of movement or if the ballad on its own can stand so much that the, like the melody or the voice or whatever combined can held hold the whole song then it's amazing but in this case it just it just kind of went for me but she did a great job i love it i see that she's doing very well on tiktok and like congrats to her and i hope that she grows and gets new highs number eight for me is ukraine i didn't think that ukraine would be so low for me because when i heard the, the music video with the song I was like, oh my god, the production, everything is on point. And don't get me wrong, the production is on point, but it just didn't read for me in live performance. Like, the production is insane. Like, it's probably one of the best produced songs this year. But it just, like, the performance from the artists themselves, it just didn't, didn't come through for me this year. Like, it just was kind of me. Yeah, they were doing, like, the beat was sick, it was the whole vibe, it was moody, amazing, but it just didn't do a whole lot for me, so unfortunately it's a top 8 for me. Number 7 is Australia, and if I'm being honest, from the first listen, I think that I heard, like, this big chorus, when I didn't hear other songs, like, this is my top, at least top 3, like, they were incredible, like, the chorus itself is holding the whole song, it's so powerful, there's so much happening, all the instruments, the voice, the visuals on the screen was just amazing. But like the beginning was a bit slow, it just seemed a bit... It, it didn't go as far, but I love the song. I would not skip the song, if the song comes on I will listen to the song and... Yeah, but it just didn't go further than number 7 unfortunately for me, but I love it, I love the song. Number 6 for me is Czechia, I, I actually... For the first, at the first listen, I didn't know if that song would get out of the semi-finals because I was like, I mean, yeah, I love the me like the meaning of the song, like involving the politics and stuff, but it just didn't do much for me. And then I listened to it another time, another time, another final, then final, and then at the final when she when the song was played, I was like, okay, now I kind of get it. This song is a grower. It's not a grower, grower to be a winner, but like. I would not skip the song either because it's so vibey in the, in the like the rhythm and the sound of the song is kind of haunting and it stuck in your brain, sticks in your brain and it's just kind of cool song. I love the concept. They all did good, such a good job on the stage as the sisterhood and yeah, I love the meaning and everything and the song is great itself. I love the stage, the staging and their outfits and everything was dot com bomb dot com. Number five for me is Italy and um, he was just. Amazing as Italy is almost every single year when they are performing ballads because they can do a ballad they know how to emote how to transcend emotion through the screen they most of the time sing Italian which they did also this time and I don't speak Italian I don't know what he's singing about but I just know it's something meaningful it grabs him and through his emotions we feel the emotion at least I felt and whole Europe felt because I think he was in the second place at the end correct me if I'm wrong and yeah it's just it was it, it was it was amazing ballad he he poured his soul on the stage just standing on the stage and uh, yeah it was great 
Loved it. Number four for me is Belgium. I never thought that this song would grow so much on me, but it's just a whole vibe, like the beat, it just makes you like move and he was living his best life on the stage and it was so nice to see and the back vocals they all were involved and like going further in the stage and i mean i just love the song i love the beat i love i just yeah it was like happy song i don't know it just made me cheerful in a way i don't know it just it was it was it is a sunny day song to listen to number three is israel for me and if i'm completely honest at the first time when I saw her I was like oh no like she is like this beautiful girl like she just dead as gorgeous and I was like she just will do something and leave and she will get points with the blah, blah 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 no but then she went to the stage and she delivered she did that oh my god she just she did everything and uh, she was prepared. I know she's al she's already big on TikTok and she has a big fan base, but I mean she deserves it. She did so much. She has vocals, she can dance, she looks amazing and the whole like production together of like she 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 knew what she was doing and people that were involved in this performance and this in production of the song and the vocals and everything. They knew what they were doing and they delivered and She's my number three and I think she also was number three in overall, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, she was amazing. I loved it. My number two drum roll is uh, Finland. I was contemplating which one of them would be my top one, but um, I knew deep down that I wanted the other artist to win so that the person can win twice but he just did the song like i don't know he's just a, a full-on character i don't know from the beginning when he starts like this all scary like punching out wood panels and just this dark vibe and then transforming in this playful character and everything that happens in between and just he just took the whole like tiktok and europe by the storm Everyone knows that song now, like cha cha cha. Yeah, everyone knows what is cha 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 now because of him and how he was. And he just, yeah, he made the song his song and he made the stage his stage. And people were so angry that he didn't win, but I think in a way he already has won. Maybe he even is further out because he didn't win because people were so upset and made so much hype around him that it kind of made him being pushed even further out in media which I think is a great a great thing and a great kind of marketing strategy if I'm completely honest because he, like people will know him even if it's the only song we know from him, people will know him also he sings in his own language no one understands what he's singing about and uh, I mean, I'm just thinking about if he sings in cha-cha-cha part in English, but I don't think he does. Yeah, I don't think he does. Yeah, and everyone knows the song, and it's just incredible, if I'm completely honest. He deserved it, he delivered, he was a, such, a, such a character for this year's Eurovision, and I congratulate him for being in the second position, and I mean, in my opinion, he is a winner in its own way, so... Yeah, wish him all the best. And my number one goes to Sweden. Lorraine with the song tattoo. She's probably the only person that I know the name and the song like overall. So, and the country where she comes from. And she delivered. I was kind of skeptical at first because about her being the winner because she already was. And there's built this whole hype around her. I was like, is this fair? And I tried to avoid this song everywhere as much as I could, but the song was flying around, like they were pushing the song out. If the song was in a mainstream, like pop kind of charts with biggest names in the world already in the charts before even the Eurovision has started, that was huge for her. And I was like, oh my God, is this just hyped? And I, every time the song came out, I just skipped it and skipped it and skipped it. It's like, I don't want to hear, I, wanna, I don't want to be biased. I want to hear the song with every other song as it comes and as soon as that first intro even thinking about it like goosebumps like as soon as she opened her mouth the visuals everything that was put into it it was sick she literally gave all of her power her soul 
like her inner parts. I feel like if she could physically, I don't know, come apart on the stage, that would happen. Like, like her inner to be on the stage disgusting imaginary but it's just insane what she did and the ta the fact that she was able to create song and compete and win two times and become the first female that is win that has win two times ever it just shows like because there's always this well if you already have won the Eurovision you shouldn't compete because you will never reach the same position and it's just like, why are you even doing this? But like, she did that. She, I, I, in my opinion, this song maybe is even better than the first one, Euphoria, which maybe is controversial, controversial for someone, but she just delivered. It was insane how good she did. Like, it was amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I will listen to that song again and again. And I made cover of, for this song on the YouTube channel, my TikTok. And yeah, it's just so, it's such a big ballad type of song, but also kind of a hype song. It's just a beautiful balance in between both of them. It's like mysterious, but hyped and like sad, but not sad. It's just all the emotions that you can feel. So yeah, I mean, if you can tell, I love the song and it was brilliant so yeah that's my number one okay i will wrap up and uh, leave your thoughts in the comments down below what was your top 10 uh why it was like that and uh did you agree of any of my positioning or you disagreed and uh yeah leave that in the comments down below and overall if you liked the video give thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time bye